Hi everyone and welcome to an Imagineering Moment. Uh, my name's Catherine Jay and yeah, today's Imagineering Moment's a bit different. Um, we've just finished doing a table talk for our F7 Building Blocks to Freedom YouTube channel and it's just a bit of an interesting day. Um, there's myself with, you know, obviously a lot of other people I know who have been praying um, for the elections. So just yesterday we had local elections in Perth um, as well as, I think it was state elections in the ACT. Um, or perhaps it was, I think it was state elections in the ACT. Um, it may have been Canberra. Um, but also New Zealand, the New Zealand elections. So it's been a big time. And one of the main reasons that we got involved in praying for politicians, praying for elections, is that there's been just a move of you know shutting down like um, my base beliefs are freedom of religion freedom of worship freedom of enterprise um, so for example when you have when people are making money when people are able to um, you know have businesses they're able to employ people so when people are employed they have money to spend they have choices they can choose okay do i want a samsung do i want an iphone or do i have to use some other sort of phone um, and when people have freedom of religion, they can say, okay, well, I don't like that church or I don't even want to go to church or maybe I want to go to a temple or whatever. But when you have freedom of religion, you can choose all of those things. Um, and what was the other one? Freedom of speech. You know, I'm a big believer in freedom of speech. So, but when you've got particular political parties that are trying to shut those down, um, an example of that at the moment is um, different countries. I would say New Zealand has been one that um, you know they put through a, um, a a law just recently that the prime minister as well as one other person they can shut down someone's facebook page if they don't like it you know that they, they don't even really have to have a reason so i mean that's um absolute power so and it's not even if you think the world of of jacinta arden um i don't think that's wise for any politician or any one person to have that amount of power um, so I think that's a bit scary. So, and in America, for example, there's been a big thing this week with, um, you know, the revelations and the proof, um, talking about Joe Biden with his son Hunter and basically that, um, you know, Hunter was doing the wrong thing. Um, there was a prosecutor going after him and then Joe Biden said, okay, well, if you don't sack the prosecutor, we're going to hold back a billion dollars or whatever it was. You can go in, look it up, find the details. Um, I've even seen Joe, Joe Biden say, well, um, that's my son, you know, and I would do it again. Um, it was in the New York Post this week. But then it was, um, if anybody posted it on, I think it was Facebook and Twitter and all these different ones, that they were shut down, that they had their accounts shut down. Um, even the press, press secretary of the um, White House had her account shut down on Twitter this week. It's just crazy. So um, I'm just aware of that. So when you're against free speech and especially when it's being backed up by social media or media, it becomes scary. So I might not approve of, of what people say, but I believe that we need to have the opportunity to say it, as long as it's not illegal. If it's illegal, if it's saying, okay, let's go out and hurt this person or kill this person, okay, that shouldn't be allowed, absolutely. But in general, you know, especially in the education system, we're taught to teach people and lead by example um, to have alternate um, positions, to be able to debate, to look at these different things. So that's how, that was a long way to say it. I know it's an imaginary moment, a little bit longer this morning. Um, but yeah, so it was just really interesting that each of the parties that, um, that were for those restrictions seem to have got in, um, not Basil, Basil in Perth Independent. Um, congratulations, Basil. Mr. Telethon, I'm from Perth, so that was um, pretty exciting. And um, there were some other good candidates there as well. So, yeah, we just, um, sometimes it can seem a little bit tiring, but like Hikairo said, and he's just going blah, 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 like hurry up. Um, you know, God is on the throne. You know, it feels today, I'm sure, for a lot of um, intercessors, a lot of people praying that maybe that, um, you know, things are a bit tough. But now it's time to praise and worship and just say, God, you are God and we will rejoice for this is the day that you have made and we will choose to rejoice in it. Thanks for watching. And remember, we can change the world one day at a time, one person at a time, one decision at a time. Thank you.